Okay, so Dr. Umar Johnson has been all over the YouTube sector and the conscious community, going on The Breakfast Club, talking about black empowerment, how he was his great grandfather was Frederick Dulles, and how he was very inspired through his works as actually being the starting as Ewan Garrison. Um, he was a free slave. He stood up for what was right, and he was a leader. You know, he was a Haitian, a minister, doing very great things. And Dr. Warren Johnson decided to pursue his career in psychology, became a principal, and working with kids that had ADD, ADHD, different things in the school sector, and went on his tangents about charter schools. And as Dr. Warren Johnson came in the scene around 2008-2007, man, especially school principal and so a world, I just want to say, motivational speaker, he has really, you know, made a name for himself, and he decided to pursue a project in opening a school known as the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey School in Delaware. He bought property. He was working on his um, vision of success. I'm going on uh, many different speaking engagements. I'm talking to celebrities, really marketing himself, and actually was getting donations. Some, he believed that People wasn't donating him money for any type of reason. It was just very disrespectful for him, like going to the school, but not donating to the school. Then he got caught up in some sex scandal, well, whatever, not married. He was talking about this marriage, just all carrying a family foundation. So people believe that he was very hypocritical. But long and on, man, he said his very, his good motivation, the reason why he's on this earth, he's believed that, you know, he wants to help and save black kids. Um, he went on to give an idea that in order for you to go to college, if you instill your sons or your daughters in the black community that what are you going to major in that's going to help the benefit of black people and that was really you know a very powerful statement for a, a gentleman that's that's this in education man you know just really just going in and just helping individuals that okay well it's it's, it's many single mothers out here in the black community then we need our sons and daughters to become very successful like wb the voice and things like that maybe get into a trade and he was very uh, promoting more great entrepreneurship and really dismantling white su supremacy that's one of the reasons why we are at our state today and holding up former president obama for ignoring african americans for eight years for so simply we're not having our own political reform and we don't have a, a, a good way to educate ourselves on how to vote. And voting is extremely important. He really went in detail about that locally. And he was saying that, you know, as the Democratic Party, they are usually come to us, but we need to withhold our vote and have them come to us and we present in the idea for them. And then we have to fund them, the politicians, and then therefore we have some great representation, maybe weight in the justice system. So I really commend Dr. Wilmer Johnson's um, very, um his his passion in that man just really going out and just helping the youth in that type of aspect because words are very powerful but the only thing is with the dr omar johnson that we may have to criticize as i take a critical examination of the young man is that he's been very inconsistent with the school meaning that i was looking it up um he he owed a lot of money man from the castle uh, county in delaware for like thirty thousand dollars something like that man twenty to thirty thousand dollars of sales taxes property taxes, and it was due on September 30th, and none of the money was paid. And this is a gentleman who went on a Roland Martin show, said that he accumulated $750,000 publicly. And I fact that I'm like, well, you know, if, if you accumulate all that money, you should at least have the school on, in work in progress, we have some teachers in there. I mean, it would have been like a blueprint of just something that was just been knocked down, it would be very constructive, and kids, was slowly going there and getting their education about their own history and being very successful in corporate America, or it can really help out be very beneficial to the black community. Sort of like with the LeBron James type of school, I, I program, you know, I promise program, but with this is that that's, I feel like that's a, a really amazing thing and a success that, you know, we go back in 2010, 2011, it was good individuals and plumbers that was contacting Dr. Omar Johnson, but he never followed up with him. So I don't know if he lost vision and or if he's, he's continuously just uh, want donations from the African-American community, but still complaining and going on these stands when things happen in the world that this is why we can't get anywhere. But you have more than enough to go ahead and pay the property taxes if you were to continue to be stuck with your vision 
times than you know you being vulgar and cussing people out because they ask a simple question about where's the update of the school and then you go on youtube and get upset and try to dress people why they keep making videos dismantling your name all the despite all the good things you have done but you have to understand people respect consistency and it only takes one last thing you have to understand that you made a name for yourself and i'm very and i commend you for doing that but once you set up a project and an idea, you have to follow through with it. Now, if you somehow mismanage the money, then you have to say that. But the fact that I believe people is losing a lot of respect for you is because you continuously to ask for donations. Or you may be going to fight with Tyreek Mushid or other successful black men or why you have a lack of support. And it's just really feel like you're, you know, it's just a beta male type of characteristic. And it's not a good look as for young men that's coming up and want to be something and want to explore and, and continuously to fulfill a project because once you have a project, yes, you need a team, you need to be consistent, and you have to be disciplined as well, have the mental fortitude to complete a task regardless of how you feel. And I just feel like that's just one area that you're lacking. If you would have came out and just say, well, I don't understand, you know, I mean, I mismanaged the money, I'm not accepting any more donations, I'm sorry, um, you know, we, we probably would expect you a lot more. You know, I mean, things happen. Maybe you just have to change the plan, change the vision, but at least give back, you know. And I just really feel like, you know, maybe this is a, a, a new hustle in a way. And as African Americans, we may be starting to get tired of that as we've seen, like, people just come and go, speak the good talk, but then again, don't walk the walk. And I feel like that's one of the, one of the things that, you know, many people are just can't respect, especially when you go into this nice, this crazy vicious cycle of just arguing bickering people and you lose sight of your vision your dad actually made a video not too long ago uh, when I if you guys seen that video I made uh, reviewing the show documentary about Dr. Umar Johnson his father was just walk, walking around Delaware he was like hey man this is your school you need to get back to your rules this is the one that's to keep you insane and I felt like if he would have you know it was like at least over hundred sixty eight thousand dollars I mean, if he could have paid $200,000 just to get it taken care of and, you know, just have a higher different black brothers and go in there and like, hey, you know, I got the, I, I cleared all the property tax, all the donations. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, brothers and sisters in the community that continuously to help me out. Now, in this particular time here, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to start building the school up, fixing it up, fencing it in. I'm start marketing it a lot more. And then we should be opening within the next year. And I think that if you would have continuously to focus more on your path, the school would have been open. You would at least have high schoolers in there. And it's no telling where your life would have been. And the fact that, you know, it's just, this just shows you that you, when you say you're just going to do something, you have to do it. You have to follow through it. Remember, the end of the thing is better than its beginning. You can't give up in the middle of it. So I don't know if he just got deterred from it. Who knows? You got to give us something or an update. Because this is going to be hanging over your head as you've been on the Breakfast Club. You talked to many other people that, hey, don't don't touch the school. This is the school. But if you're not, you know, many years from now, if you're not going to follow the school, then who's going to take you serious when it comes to business? But this is how I really feel. You could have hired a property manager. You could have hired a consultant or people or individuals that may have some experience in building something like this, you know, in the community. But this is what we need. You know, um, talking points is good, but at the same time, when it comes to uh, power and development, you know, and putting your actions and putting your hard work into it and, and your love and, and building something with your hands or doing things or hands on, it's just that can we really trust you with that? Can we really trust you in these business circles? So that's really all I have to say. This is your boy Enlin Jr. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe. Um, do you think Dr. Umar Johnson is a fraud or he maybe has some, maybe he just lost passion or he don't really care about the community? Who knows? Or he could be overwhelmed that it's just something that goes on in the background, the back scene that he's just not letting um, the, our team know. Or he's trying to keep up with some type of lifestyle or he may be in debt. Who knows, man? But this is your boy Only Junior. You guys who tune like, comment, subscribe. I just want to just share that. Thank you for my new subscribers. You guys take care. I'm out. Deuces.